right here while rebuilding is going on is 18,000, so looking very much uh, towards a full house today. Here's Dean Gordon at left back for Palace, who played in the under-21s in the week. Number 11 is Solako. And there's the first ball, and there's the first shot coming in from Gareth Southgate. The setter was on the left. Solako turned the ball in, it flicked off a Newcastle head, and that was an acrobatic attempt. Well, certainly, uh, Southgate showing what Palace intended to do, which was to start the game very quickly. Those were the instructions from uh, Alan Smith. Solako. Corner. You can normally rely on Coleman, the uh, Welsh international, to go up for these, although Priest is a handy player in the air as well. Oh, and the man round the back was Southgate again. The captain had the header, and it was cleared off the line. Well, Paul Kitson may be making his first appearance as a Premiership attacker from the start, but he was in defensive mode here. That's Southgate's header, and it's Kitson who clears from inside his own six-yard box. And a corner again. This time not so well delivered. Well, Kevin Keegan's had a busy week, having taken charge of the England under-21s, successfully, it might be said, in Austria. Watching his Premiership leaders defend their unbeaten record here. Beardsley, very much in midfield today. Looks for Kitson. Who finds Fox? Sellers. To his left is Cole, didn't need him, and Nigel Martin, glad to palm it over. From Scott Sellers, Howie and Albert back of the box, Beardsley to Watson, Sellers again, Beardsley. And now it's Priest for Palace. It's going from end to end here. The only thing that's spoiling it at the moment is that the respective strikers... Are, oh, goodness! A shade too hurried, I was going to say. And then Cernicek uh, got confused as well. It hit Armstrong. Oh, it's come on short to Kitson. Chance on here for Kitson for Newcastle. Pulls it well wide. Well, that might have been his first goal for his new club, Richard Shaw's error. But uh, it's always going away. Priest. Nice ball, Newman. That was well played by Palace, right across the pitch. Here's John Humphrey, and they're steaming forward in numbers now. Oh, Southgate, surely. Good save by Cernicek. All the chances seem to be falling to the captain, who's coming from midfield, and that may have been the best one. He was through here on the keeper, but look how quickly Cernicek had cut down the space. So one clear chance goes begging at either end in this eventful opening 22 minutes or so. Flags up. Well, they're applauding all round the ground. It's rather like a cup tie atmosphere today largely because the game is 
swinging so quickly from one end to the other. Gordon. Kitson finds Nielsen. for Armstrong Bowery in the centre Priest is going there too May 4th for Priest oh! well the chances are there all right but they're being missed a volley on the turn not perhaps the easiest skill and he just got too much height on it Andy Priest who scored freely for Stockport last season Kitson, Cole, Kitson again, Fox is to the right in a lot of space, Dean Gordon comes across, it's Royal Fox, he's beaten him twice, and he's hit the side netting, he thinks it was a corner, which has not been given, he turned his man inside out here, and again it was a chance, Well, the Newcastle record before today this season played 13, won 11, drawn 2 in League and Cup. The only two teams to have held them even, Liverpool and Blackburn. Priest with Albert. Armstrong, Priest again. Newman, Solarco. Now plenty on the end of this cross if he plays it right. Barry! Oh, hooked away by Beresford. From Bobby Barry. Palace must feel they're getting closer and closer, but as yet not close enough. This is Southgate. Cernicek with Armstrong. This really is the sort of football crowds love to see. The ball going forward quickly and with purpose, and crosses coming in from both sides. Armstrong with Howie Armstrong! Well, the goals must come if he plays like this. Took that one early on the run. Getting away from Steve Howie. Ray Wilkins, who was injured in the opening game against Liverpool, broke his foot and uh, still giving him some cause for concern, that injury. This is uh, Sellers, curling it across towards Cole. Now, Solarco straight to Watson. And Nielsen. And Fox. Cole, no. Kitson, no. Perhaps didn't get the full meat behind that. Certainly, Nigel Martin saw enough of it to make the save from Paul Kitson here. Deflection, maybe, too. Number 18, Priest out to Solarco. Priest again. Oh, he hit his own player, Bowery. And here's Newman. just isn't quite coming off for Palace. Priest, Solarco, Bowery in the centre, so is Armstrong. There's Priest. Oh, and it just evaded Bowery at the post. He was mighty close to that. 
Good cross. Priest with the flick and Bowery so near to it. Fox picks up the loose ball. Kitson comes short. Fox's cross. Cole's there. Sellers is there. And an opening for Newcastle. This is Priest. They're coming up in support now, the other Palace players. Plenty of them. Solako. And still. Good cross. Armstrong. Good save, Cernicek. Solako again. Another good cross. Armstrong can't get there this time. And Cernicek's hardest work for some time. A double save. Armstrong denied the first time. Good running behind Shaw by Kitson. Cole is in the centre. That's where it's going. It's too long for him. Fox. Away by Gordon. Nielsen. And again, inside for Fox. Turns Priest. Watson, Beardsley. Beardsley! With just a minute to go, Peter Beardsley engineers something out of nothing. What a beautiful strike, and the Premiership leaders score in the 89th minute. And Beardsley, who's played deeper than normal today, and by his standards had a quiet game, suddenly produces the moment that matters. We are now in stoppage time. Well, Kevin Keegan must surely have been settling for the draw. But when you've got Beardsley in your team, you don't have to settle for anything. Palace now have got to try and save it with a desperate bid in stoppage time. But it's too late. The little genius has turned the game again just when it looked as though Palace had earned a hard-won point. Keegan's team reinforcing their championship potential with a superbly struck goal and a wonderfully well-timed one-two from Peter Beardsley.